What's up guys? Today we're gonna go for a walk in the woods, aka hiking. And this is really possibly the biggest component of health missing from my current lifestyle, grounding for long periods of time, just overall movement, a lot of body exercise, and breathing some fresh air. Because you know, right now, even though I try to get some sun and try to work out in the gym, you know, I'm kind of sitting in my chair on my computer all day. I'm not moving as much as I should. I'm definitely not outside grounding. So this is really, really important. This is arguably more important than the sun or the exercise and just a lot of things in the diet itself. Because if you're not moving a lot, if you're not active, you know, it's really bad for your immune system, your lymph nodes, your overall digestion. So starting with the shoes, I actually have these leather grounding shoes I bought a while ago. Uh, the price went up so much. We do have some straps on wifishilling.com because regular shoes like these work boots, they have a rubber sole, so they're not actually grounded when you're walking around. So if you're going to go for a hike, you got to find some leather moccasins or something. I'm going to look into uh, somewhere where maybe I can get some to sell for you guys, but uh, I think I did that like last year and I couldn't find anything reasonable. They're all super expensive and I don't really know uh, who I could get to make some like leather sole shoes for me. Uh, but... What I'll do is when I find something, I'll put it in the description below in this video. It's probably not gonna be there when I post this. And the socks I'm wearing are wool socks. So wool socks, natural material, leather sold shoes, natural material here. You know, it's just leather. So we're gonna be grounded when we're walking um, in the forest. So we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I'm gonna edit this into the beginning. You guys can also just wear like a few pairs of wool socks. That's what I would actually do. That's what I would do. A few pairs of wool socks will ground you as well. Now the next step is to search on Google for a nearby trail, which we did so we know exactly where we're going. But you know, when you're looking on Google Maps and you're looking at the trail, ideally you want something that's kind of isolated, you know, literally like a forest. You know, you don't want like a small trail that might have a lot of people. You don't want something small that's near like a power plant. You wanna make sure the EMF is low and there's not gonna be too much crazy stuff going on. Yeah, these shoes have like no arch support. It's just a strip of leather. So you could definitely feel what you're walking on. You could definitely feel what you're walking on. So we just pulled in the park. We are officially in the woods. So this park is called Sprain Ridge Park and it's actually like a huge parking lot. Like it goes all the way up there too. I mean, this must be like get really busy during the weekend or something. So there's a trail here, which we're gonna get lost on. And apparently there's a pool somewhere too. I found some Asian lady in her car and I was asking her, cause I, I'm like, I have no idea like where I'm going. So she told me the trail's over here. So we're gonna trust her against my better judgment and uh, just start walking around. Cause I didn't even know where to park. It just looks like, you know, the woods around the parking lot. They're like the, the signage and stuff. There's like nothing that says like, Oh, here's the hiking trail. Here's this, here's that. Maybe I missed the map or something. I don't really want to carry anything with me, but I will use some bug spray just in case. Damn, did I forget to turn my camera on? I, I just sprayed this all over myself. I think we're bug proof now. Ugh. Yeah, so it's like five o'clock on a Tuesday. So I'm guessing like most people are just at work or something. So it's nice that there's like no one here because sometimes like on these trails, these bikers are like crazy people on these mountain bikes and stuff it's not that safe for walking when there's a lot of them welcome to Sprain Ridge Park mountain bike trails so I didn't see like a separate walking trail but so see this is why I don't like hiking because like I have no fucking clue where to go so we could apparently go that way that's probably the end of the trail I'm guessing this is where it starts. All right, guys, so we got our water, our grounding shoes, and uh, turn my phone on airplane mode, very important. That's the big thing, like people go out and try to be healthy and do all this stuff, and uh, they still have their phones on them, so they're still blasting themselves with radiation, which isn't that good. Last time I went hiking, like I couldn't find the trail, so I just looked on my, um, I just looked on my like map on my phone and just walked back to the beginning through the woods. <laughs> this is really nice. It's like steep as hell. But as you could tell with all the foliage, you know, this is 
not necessarily something you want to do on like a super sunny day you know obviously you want to be out tanning if it's nice and sunny outside but today where you know the sun wasn't that strong you know it's perfect to go outside get some exercise you know this is so nice when no one's here but i'm sure like on the weekend you don't want to even be here probably just a bunch of crazy lunatics on their bikes yeah, bro, honestly, maybe I should, like, look up what this trail stuff means. Like, obviously, this is marked for a trail, but then, like, okay, this goes that way, and this goes that way. So, like, where am I supposed to go? You know? I'm glad I used this bug spray. <laughs> um, honestly, guys, the last time I was hiking was because some girl wanted to fuck me in the woods. Oh, no, this is what I was worried about. Dude. I was like, I hope this isn't by some power lines or something, but look, dude, this is ridiculous. It's not as easy to see on camera, but you could see the, the tower right there. And then the lines go like, parallel to this trail. So like, I don't know, we, we could be getting blasted with magnetic radiation. Like that's really close, you know? Like, let's, I'll, I'll walk over there. Let's see. Wait, where's this? How, how is this a trail, dude? This trail shit makes no sense to me. Like, this is the one thing I was worried about before even coming here. I was so skeptical of the location of this being so close to me in New York. No, I feel like I could touch this tower, dude. Oh. I don't know if I'm necessarily afraid of heights, but... That's about a uh, 50 foot drop from here. So we got the tower right here and the lines, see? So these put off a lot of magnetic radiation. So, you know, being this close to the trail, not that great for your health. And the way this trail goes, I don't necessarily know if we could just stay on like the far side over there further away from the lines i mean look you know you're still out in nature you're grounding you're getting fresh air you're not getting any radio frequency radiation which is really the biggest stressor compared to the amount of radiation most people are exposed to the magnetic stuff and getting different types of radiation it's arguable but still, it's not not great. I don't even know, like, if there's another trail I can go to that's close by. I'm not gonna, guys, I'm not gonna drive an hour or something, you know, to go walking for, like, 20, 30 minutes. Maybe it'd be nice if I had someone to go with, but... I'm... I'm... I'm I just don't... <laughs> This ruined my day, dude. I'm walking. I'm fucking. I could. I feel like I could. Touch, I could probably throw this water bottle and hit the power line, dude. I'm walking parallel to the power line. I'm honestly just gonna walk. I'm just like gonna walk across the uh, to the other side, away from the power lines, and see if I can find like a trail over there. But. uh yeah, because there's like plenty of parks that are way more isolated that would be like way better to uh, to walk in. Like there's Bear Mountain. I think that's a little far. I think it's an hour and a half from the city. So, you know, if you want to make like a weekend of it and stay somewhere, that'd be nice. We found the pool. I think that's the pool. It might be covered right now. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys like look up this park on Google Maps, it's like a sliver, but it's kind of long. So I don't know, maybe it's like a mile or two long, but like you can basically see, like I can see the end of the park, the pool right here, and then the the power line is right here. It's not, you know, it's not more than like, man, I would say this has to be like between four to 500 feet wide, you know, if I could see. You know, like you could run across it like width wise in not even a minute. Yeah, I guess this is like a public pool or something. 
I don't think it's filled up yet. I don't think it's open. That's probably why there's no one here. I bet you when they open the pool, it gets crazy, crazy busy. And this is the kind of stuff that humans are kind of meant to do all day. Just like constant movement, you know, that's not too like high, uh, high stress. You know, you're not doing sprints, you're not working out, you're not doing all this crazy shit. You know, you're just walking through the woods, swatting bugs away. Yeah, bro, there's bugs. There's definitely bugs. There's bugs. They're not landing on me though, so the bug spray is working apparently. All right, guys, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna like just fucking power. Dude, it's so close. Bro, I literally think it runs over the park. It's so close, dude. What the fuck? It's almost like over the park, not even next to it. And I'm like walking on the side that's far away too, but the whole park is so narrow. Like, maybe it was intentional. Maybe they want to blast people with magnetic fields. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put my phone in my pocket and just walk around a little bit because, you know, holding my phone like this and water bottle on the other hand, it's, I'm trying to get moving, you know, get my lymph nodes moving and not just have my arms in the static position. So I'll, uh, I'll complain some more when we're back in a little bit. Or if I get lost and have to call the big booty female park ranger to rescue me. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, this is a grass area by the pool. Honestly, dude, this would be the perfect place to tan, dude. I mean, the shade is probably too much because of the trees are tall nearby, but you could like lay out in there, like no EMF tanning. Perfect. Bro, on like a list of places Bigfoot would not be, this is probably at the top. It's not like he's gonna watch my girlfriend peg me in the forest, you know? Hey, should I carve uh, frankiestrangemeat.com into this tree? I'll probably get a fucking lawsuit from the <laughs> from the town. <laughs> Bro, not a bad way to advertise. Because, like, people hiking and shit, they're health-minded. Some grass-fed meat. Not a bad idea. Probably not a high, uh, not going to have a high customer acquisition rate. There's, like, a few people riding their bikes now. And, and since work is over, this guy's right down there now it's like 5 30 people probably getting off work oh we got about five bikers here so you know it's nice if there's like no one here and there's no emf and no people nearby but can't have everything yeah bro my quads are definitely not cut out for any mountain biking <laughs> i got like some fairy boy twink legs from never working out my legs in the gym this nice like a little deeper into the trail yeah, I don't think it's as close to the... Oh, no, it is. It's right next to the power lines. Never mind. So, like, when I'm walking, I'm trying to, like, move my arms as much as possible because just for, like, circulation, physical health, and rotator cuff and stuff, it's, like, important that, you know, if you're sitting at, like, a, a desk hunched over all day and your posture's fucked and your shoulders are forward, you, know, you want to kind of, like, walk straight. Kind of, I kind of, like wave my arms back a little bit just try to like correct the posture and stuff yeah bro that's what happened my girl was trying to peg me with uh, that big ass tree but uh it was like triple prong so it didn't work out yeah we've had some pretty crazy flooding and storms in the past uh few months here in new york but i don't know how long this thing's been here bro i need some like tomboy hiker mountain girl with thighs bigger than my waist to like carry me around the forest that's what i need dude that's what i need i'll bring the meat she can do everything else i'll put her on the payroll yeah my allergies are kind of like acting up i need some charmin tissue asap to blow my nose bro this is so fucking boring this is why i don't do this shit i need some entertainment i need something not a bunch of fucking dead trees and biker gay boys and biker gay boys so if you don't have grounding shoes or grounding straps you want to like touch a lot of trees but maybe you want to just go barefoot with some socks dude it's not a bad idea 
Like, it hasn't rained recently. So if you just got, like, two pairs of wool socks, uh, then uh, I think you'd be fine. You know? You'd be fine. Honestly, it's probably... I mean, you're going to ruin the socks eventually, but it's not a bad idea, you know? Just wool socks, two layers or something for some padding, and uh, you're grounded. Honestly, two layers of wool socks would probably be more comfortable than these shoes. Because I got, like, these on and then, like, a thin wool sock. So I think it'd be fine. For what is that, like a bee's nest or something? Well, they say curiosity killed the cat, right? Oh, it's just, like, some moss. What is it? Any arborists? Any arborists here? Yeah, I didn't want to bring the water with me because I felt like it would be annoying to carry it. So... It is. <laughs> and holding the phone is annoying too. For the vlog. But what would you guys do without me, right? We've been on the red trail. I don't know what that means, but... We're lost. We're lost. Call the park ranger. Call the helicopter. Call the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, what's that branch of the military? The, uh... <laughs> what is it? What are they called? Call the Coast Guard, bro. <laughs> no, like, the Coast Guard's always doing the search and rescues, right? Bro, I'm like Bear Grylls, and, like, I see signs of civilization, right? Or Survivor Man. What's that other guy's name? Les Stroud. Bro, that show is so ridiculous. I was watching a clip of it, and, like, after being on the island for five minutes, he finds, like, a lighter that works. <laughs> it's the fun. It's so funny. It's so funny, dude. A lighter that works on a desert island <laughs> see bro if that mountain mommy was with me i could like blow my nose on her armpit hairs instead of some poison ivy you know <laughs> god help me bro this is so boring i like put my phone away for like 30 seconds and i'm already bored i can't do this shit dude i guys when i was a kid i used to be addicted to video games like 12 hours a day like, it's definitely a different level of neurostimulation in my brain that I'm used to. I need to live with the Amish for a few months. Fucking cocksuckers. It's overcharging me for fucking meat. Yo, and you guys into bushcraft? I was, like, into watching that stuff a few years ago. But, like, why not just be a carpenter or something, you know? Like, make something nice with the wood. <laughs> bushcraft me and the homies are bushcrafting in the woods you guys don't know what bushcraft is it's like you go in the forest with a knife and an axe and do like minimal survival skills and stuff I don't have the patience for that shit bro <laughs> you know me is more like get some Asian girls from Chinatown and go camping in Central Park that's my version of a of a nature exploration you know you know, and they don't, Asian girls don't usually shave, right? So we're doing some uh, bushcraft exploration. I have no clue where I am. We're still on the red trail. It's been like 40 minutes, so we'll walk for another 20 and then I'll turn my GPS on and probably fucking walk back the right way. <laughs> Bro, these trails, bro, someone's got to, like, pave these fucking trails properly and have a fucking little flag every 10 feet so morons like me <laughs> know where to go. <laughs> Yo, nice thing is, like, everywhere's a bathroom, bro. Everywhere's a bathroom. I can take a piss and mark my territory so the the biker boys and the squirrels know who the real boss is, right? Walking through the woods, walking through the woods, walking through the woods. Honestly, it's not boring. I would love to do this all day. It's just, like... When you have stuff to do, like, I still got some work I got to do. I got to go to the gym. Da, 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 da. Like, I got stuff I should be doing. Yet I'm walking in the woods like some fucking hippie dippy. Like, what's the deal? Yeah, so another thing is you definitely want to, like, overhydrate just to make sure your gut motility and stuff is good. I don't know where the hell I'm walking. Apparently, we're on the road, a road now. This is what I get for not knowing or not following the trail properly. Well, I just asked a serial killer for directions. <laughs> no. Um, 
basically we walked through the woods and then came out on like some random trail on the road which is close to the uh the main entrance i mean it's about an hour it flew by really quick um i wish the trail was a little nicer i would want to stay longer i could still probably do another hour but i'm not like paying attention at all i'm just like walking around the woods like i'm not looking at the trail markings i'm not looking at like the colors on the trees i'm just doing whatever wilderness explorer yeah so this road apparently goes up to like another parking lot and we came out of the forest like somewhere over there ah so it's not a free pool hours of operation monday to sunday 11 to 6 30. proof of westchester residency required so it's 15 bucks to swim in some dirty water go figure yeah maybe next time i'll just like grab my backpack take all the stuff out just put the water in it just something light so i can freely move my arms yeah bro this place is fucking huge this parking lot is so big i parked in like the worst spot yeah so we went in the trail over there and then ended up on the other side of the park but it's whatever so that's gonna be it for the hiking video guys i thought i was gonna talk more about the health stuff but i guess this is kind of vloggy too i mean just spewing nonsense out of my mouth but uh, overall, I think you guys got the main points, you know, you're getting some fresh air. You definitely want to ground, whether you have some leather sole shoes or you know, you're wearing wool socks and uh, you're being physically active, you know, getting a lot of uh, movement, really stimulating the lymph nodes, all that type of stuff. And uh, make sure to stay hydrated. That's really important too. just make sure you're not dehydrated out in the woods. It's one of the worst things for your overall health. Anyway, so uh, we'll see you guys for next video wi-fi shielding.com if you guys want the grounding straps but uh you guys can support me through my other businesses on frank-tapano.com